high-stakes poker game at Casino Royale in Montenegro. If he loses this game, he'll have nowhere to run. The only question remains. Will you yield? In time? Welcome one and all to an all new video. So once again we are continuing with my James Bondathon. Now on to the next James Bond in the James Bond series. Because uh, we just did our final one with Mr. Pierce Brosnan and we're going to continue this awesomeness. We're going to be talking about the 21st James Bond film. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, it, it's just, it, I absolutely love this movie so I can't wait to talk about it. So we're going to go right into that. Before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this video and the other awesome videos I put up. And as always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube, you should definitely check out my other social media platforms, such as Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, where you can see pretty much daily content there as well. And as always, people, let's get right in this! So welcome, one and all, once again to an all-new video. So like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a James Bond-a-thon review again for you guys. The 21st film in the J awesome James Bond series. And it's the first outing for our new James Bond in this film. And we're going to be talking about them shortly. Now, to start us off with this awesome film is none other than the film known as... Casino Royale! Oh yeah! Casino Royale! Woo! Casino Royale! Woo! So, Casino Royale, like I said, is the 21st James Bond film, and the first outing for the James Bond this film, Mr. Daniel Craig. Now, this film is just a really well-rounded James Bond film. It was a great new feature, and it just, at the time it came out in 2006, it really revitalized James Bond for a lot of people. Because with the disappointment of, you know, 2002's, die another day a lot of people were wanting something more they wanted something to redeem itself and this film did that now this film happens to be directed none other by the awesome and amazing director known as mr martin campbell oh yeah martin campbell woo martin campbell woo! martin campbell oh my god i love this dude from directing you know uh, vertical limit to directing you know uh, golden eye to directing so many great films. This guy really is an action-packed, awesome director, and he never fails. It always gives us really spectacular films. Now, I've never had any film I've seen of his that I thought was really bad, that I didn't think was really, basically, superbly gold. And this film is no exception to that. Now, Martin Campbell, you might recognize, like I said, as the you know director of such films as like Vertical Limit, Golden Eye, and so forth. But another great film that he did that came out in 2008 is a superb film starring Mel Gibson called The Edge of Darkness. Yeah, The Edge of Darkness. Yeah. So this film was actually filmed on location in Boston, which I am in the New England area. And I remember when this film was actually filming in Boston at the time, and I was around the area, and I remember hearing about rumors that you know Mel Gibson was in town, which was really cool. But, this film is just really awesome, superb, and just a great all-around thriller, action-packed film. I mean, from the, the plot of the story, you know, to, you know, basically trying to get information out about a company that's doing wrongdoing, and basically trying to redeem, you know, the life that was lost of somebody that you were close to from this company, and basically try to figure that out and stop them, is pretty much the premise of this film. And Martin Campbell did an amazing job of bringing this to life. The directing and the direction that he took the film in was so superb and so just amazing. Gave us great action sequences with some great dialogue, some great scenes of some really intense emotions that Mel Gibson, you know, gives us in such a great quantity. And I remember there, there's an early scene in the film, you know, if you haven't seen this, spoilers ahead, uh, the... 
Mel Gibson's daughter in the film gets killed, and that's what brings him into the fold and to figure out what this company is doing. And there is the scene where he's crying after she's been shot and dying. And it is just the most powerful emotional scene I've ever seen, and it just was so fantastic. Really showed the depth of Mel Gibson's acting abilities. And I feel that Mike, you know, Martin really brought that out in getting him to get that reaction, that scene. Just really superbly directed. If you haven't seen anything Martin Campbell's direct, definitely check out Edge of Darkness. It's a really superb film. But when it comes to, you know, Casino Royale, like I said, this movie is magic. It's amazing. It's really well done. And Martin did the same thing he does with any of his films and gave us these action-packed, fun films. And it just, it was so well directed and gave us a whole new fresh take on James Bond. And just the direction he took it in with some of the scenes, like that car crash scene where... You know, Daniel has to basically swerve out of the way to not hit Ava Green's character. It was so intense and awesome. And then from that scene where he's being tortured to, you know, the scene where he has to basically unpoison himself and stuff were just all such intense scenes. And, you know, Martin did a great job of bringing those all out and giving us a very cohesive film. If you haven't seen anything Martin has done, definitely check out Casino Royale for his directing. He directed it very well. So like I said, this movie has a really fantastic cast. It's got amazing actors that have been around. Some of them were just recently new characters that people were getting used to, their acting and stuff like that. Some of them have been around for a little while. And just some of them are just really well, amazingly done, you know, actors and actresses. You know, of course, you got Jeffrey Wright coming into this film, uh, who plays a great character. You had Judy Dench playing, you know, M again, and so forth and stuff like that, that just was so fun. Now, to start us off with this awesome cast is none other than the amazing Bond himself, Mr. Daniel Craig! Oh yeah, Daniel Craig, woo, Daniel Craig! So, of course, Daniel Craig, you've seen in the other James Bond films, you've seen him in a slew of films over the years, from Logan Lucky to Dreamhouse and so forth. Uh, but one film that really stuck out to me that I think he's just, did a great job in is a great film that just came out a couple years ago that he's actually doing a sequel to he's currently filming it and it's just a really fun kind of thriller a little bit of comedy element that was just so well directed and then of course the film called knives out yeah knives out i absolutely love him as this detective character it's very similar to like perot i feel from you know the hercule perot from like you know, Agatha Christie films, you know, that has been played by several different actors, you know, Albert Finney, and so forth, and I just really liked this character, I thought it was so funny, his, like, accent in this character, that very southern accent, and at the same time, you just, you feel like he's, like, this country boy that, you know, he really doesn't know what he's doing, but at the same time, he's, like, super intelligent, and figuring all these clues out, with the little crumbs that he's gotten, and he just really brought that character to life and gave us a really well-rounded character. If you haven't seen Knives Out for Daniel Chris performance, he was really awesome in it, and just did, brought to life this awesome character. Now, when his first outing as Bond, I, I was enthralled by this character. I absolutely fell in love with him as James Bond. He was so cool, so awesome, and just brought a really great new flavor that we hadn't seen from other Bond actors. And I enjoyed the fact that they made him different than the previous Bonds. They made him more vulnerable. They made him, you know, very different than the previous Bonds where, you know, they were very, uh, you know, in in tune with who James Bond was or who James Bond and being James Bond. This character was a lot more supposed to be like, you know, his the beginning of James Bond, which was a very different angle that was really refreshing and fun to see. I know a lot of people have, you know, issues with how you know, Daniel Craig's Bond is, and I understand, but at the same time, I thought it was, a they were trying to tell a different type of story of Bond, and I get that, but at the same time, I thought, you know, Craig did a great job, he was really intense and really fun, he really was enjoyable to watch, and he made Casino Royale very fun, and just very enjoyable. If you haven't seen Daniel Craig anything, definitely check him out Casino Royale, he was really superb. So that brings me to the next person I'd like to talk about that was in this film. And that is none other than the Bond girl herself in this film, Miss Ava Green. Oh yeah, Ava Green, woo, Ava Green. Ava Green, woo, Ava Green. Yeah, Ava Green, Ava Green. So Ava Green you might recognize, of course, from the Penny Dreffel show on Showtime. 
You might recognize her from a slew of other things over the years, Dreamers and so forth. But a great film that I really enjoyed her in, that she was just really superb in, that really drawed her attention, you know, that was very different than this character in Casino Royale. Because I thought that she did a pretty decent job in Casino Royale. I liked her. I thought she was fun. I thought she was a different Bond girl. I definitely thought that she brought a different edge to the character and making it way more personal than the previous Bond girls I've seen. And of course, that film happens to be called Miss Peregrine and the Home for Peculiar Children. Yeah, Miss Peregrine's. Woo! So, the, you know, this awesome movie that's based off a book that was directed by Tim Burton. Ava Green was so amazing as Miss Peregrine. She was so fun and awesome, this film. I love the depth. I love the characterization she brought to it. And I just thought it was an overall really well done character. And I just really enjoyed how she, you know, gave us a lot of empathy and a lot of flavor to the character. And gave us this very different, you know, character that was a lot more in-depth than, say, from the books themselves. And I just really felt she embodied the character and gave us this really well-done characterization that just was really enjoyable. If you haven't seen Miss Peregrine for Ava's performance, she was really great in it and just did a really amazing job. Now, like I said before, when it comes to her portrayal in, portrayal in Casino Royale, like I said, I liked the differentness she brought to this Bond girl. You know, she was very different, and at the same time, like I was saying before, she gave different volumes to this character. And she gave us a different, like, more of a very um, personal touch to the relationship with Bond. Like, they were very in love and very uh, more relationshipy than any other previous Bond girl I've seen. Because if you notice in the previous Bond films, a lot of the characters are like, oh yes, James Bond slept with them, he had a thing with them, and then he moved on. This is more, this was way different for Bond in these films, and I like that they give us something different to enhance and to change uh, this Bond, you know, version, and giving us this different type of thing. I mean, I know it's different than the aesthetic before, but it was fun to see, but at the same time, it gets kind of old as the movies go on. So, it, still, it was fun, but at the same time, I think they could have, you know, gone back to that traditional James Bond feel, which they did kind of, but, you know, still gave that whole relationship thing, uh, you know, kept going with it for this Bond character. But at, all in all, I thought Ava Green did a great job, it was really fun, and just a really decent Bond girl. If you haven't seen Ava Green anything, definitely check out our Casino Royale, she was pretty superb in it. So that brings me to the final actor I'll be talking about that was in this film. And that is none other than the main villain himself in this film, Mr. Mads Mikkelsen! Oh yeah, Mads Mikkelsen! Woo! Mads Mikkelsen! Mads Mikkelsen! Oh my god, Mads Mikkelsen. This guy is awesome. He is an amazing actor. So superbly done, and anything does. You know, you might recognize him, of course, from the Hannibal TV series that was on for three seasons, which was a really great series if you have not seen it. Uh, he's, you know, known for 12, you know, his newest film, Another Round, that just came out last year that was nominated. And he's been in a ton of films over the years, a lot of Scandinavian films and so forth that are just really fun and just really are superb type of films. Now, one film I really enjoyed him in and thought he was really fantastic in, and just thought he was an amazing villain again, is the great Marvel film that came out in 2016 called Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Oh my god, I love this movie. Doctor Strange, it was one of those ones that I was not particularly, uh, you know, really not sure if I was going to like it or not, and then came out loving this film. It's one of my top Marvel films. This movie was so well done by Scott Deckerson, and Mads was so awesome as his character in this film. His speech that he gives when him and Strange are talking was just so on point and so well delivered, and just really gave us a really amazing performance in villain that I think is probably one of my favorite villains of all time in the Marvel Universe. And I just really enjoyed the concept that he brought to it in the completion of the character. He just did a really amazing job. If you haven't seen Maz in anything, definitely check him out in Doctor Strange. He was really amazing. So when it comes to Maz Bickelson's performance in Casino Royale, it was just a really awesome and refreshing take on a villain. I really enjoyed it. I thought the whole aspect of the whole 
leaking eye thing was a really cool aspect that they brought into it versus any other character I'd seen as a villain in the Bond universe. I really enjoyed that. He was a different type of villain, that he was kind of like a middleman. And, you know, he was trying to get the assets he needed for, you know, his boss. But at the same time, he was like the main villain and like taking shots and all this kind of stuff. And I just really enjoyed that he gave this really awesome performance and just gave us a completely different aspect of a Bond villain. I just really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen Mads in anything, definitely check him out at Casino Royale. He was an amazing villain and just all around great actor. So what is the plot of Casino Royale? Basically the premise of this is, this is basically at the beginning of 007's career. He hasn't officially become a license to kill 007 yet. And he is sent in to basically play a poker championship to stop this illegal person from basically funding this operation that's trying to take over the world basically it's a really fantastic film really well done martin campbell directed the crap out of everyone involved was really good from jeffrey wright daniel craig eva green uh, mads mickelson judy dench all the characters were so fun and awesome this film did a really great job it's a really well-rounded uh, amazing bond film one of my favorites of the bond films and i just can't say enough good things about this film if you have not seen it yet definitely go check it out now it is worth the watch. It's fantastic and fun and a really well done film. So that's it for this movie review, guys. Always thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time here or you have been here before, don't forget to check out any older new videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, people, if you enjoyed my content and want to show support for my channel, definitely check out my links down below, either from my Patreon page, where I do outtakes, bloopers, and all kinds of cool stuff on there, or the awesome horror pack where you get a great subscription service of horror films right to your door for a month for a really great low price. So definitely check that out. As always, people, catch you in the next one!